Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do lesson plans for the week of homeschool for third grader. The first thing I do is start with a super basic, just a grid where we're going to write down what we want to work on in each subject. The subjects that we sort of need to track what we're doing are Spanish, our cultural awareness, art, math, language arts, and science. We found that PE, health, music, uh, those are things that we don't need to track because they pretty much stay the same every day. We need to get outside, we need to do some exercise, we need to practice the piano. So those types of things are gonna stay similar day to day and week to week. So these are the only ones that we really need to plan for. The first thing I do is I start with the easy ones, and those are gonna be Spanish and math. Both our Spanish and math programs are on the computer, and they have lessons already planned out. So what I do is I just log on, and I see what lesson we're on, and how much is required for each lesson, and spread out them across the days. So far we found that with math, the kid's able to do one lesson each day and do a quiz in one day. So we move pretty steadily through that and it's just a matter of making sure we're on the right lesson. If we were to get to a lesson and we haven't so far that uh, they didn't get a good grade in, they weren't doing very well, we have the option to do that lesson over and so I do check the grades to make sure that everything is, you know, A's is what we're looking for, that the mastery of the concepts is there before I move us on. Same thing with the Spanish. Um, we're using a program that's geared for adults. We're using Rosetta Stone. So we are taking them at a slower pace but we basically get through one lesson a week and there's several different activities that go into that. So I just look at the timing for each of those different activities and we spread that out through the week. So I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna check those now. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out our Blossom and Root curriculum and I'm going to look through that and see what they recommend. It's got a bunch of science and tied in with the language arts, and they also have some art um, tied in as well. So we're gonna look through that next and figure out how we want to spread it out through the week. So here we are looking at week number three. We're still reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and there's a list and nice check boxes of the different activities, which look fairly similar to the activities that we've done before. So I'm probably going to go with a similar order. And let's see what else there is. There's this connecting myths to maps um, for geography and culture. We haven't got that book yet, but hopefully it should arrive soon. And that's it. So I'm just going to check out here what we have. Um, let's see. So we generally found that doing the reading at the beginning of the week um, works best before we move on to the other ones. So I'm going to have Monday uh, be our chapters 7 through 9. Um, and we're going to do our some of that word play, the word list. She's really good with words and spelling, so we found that doing those on the first day is not a problem at all. Now, after that, on the next day, um, we want to do exploring the elements, which is gonna be point of view this time. And we're probably gonna do the literature project. That worked really well um, this past week going on Tuesday. Um, let's see, so it has some sculpture. That's the same sculpture that we've been 
looking at and working on. So we may incorporate sculpture for art this week. There's another place I wanna check first. Um, let's see, there's a journal prompt and a narration. Um, and there's a word play. So we're gonna do the, I like to save the, the well, let's see, we're gonna do copy work and dictation. Um, and the word play on day three. And then on the last day, we'll do the journal prompt and the narration. And that way it sort of spreads out the reading and writing across the week. I mean, we read the chunk together, but it spreads out the writing across the week. Now I do have sculpture here, so we'll probably do, we've been doing sculpture for a couple of uh, weeks now. So we'll incorporate it somewhere. I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna write it real light here off to the side so I don't forget. And I'm going to open up one of the other uh, books with the science. So here we are looking at wonder number three with Blossom and Root, and we're continuing, we're learning about the history of animal life. There's always some key points that they want you to go over and to focus on. Um, sometimes we read those and then they have either videos or books and activities to do. So um, we have this book on order. So if it gets here, we'll do that book. Um, but since it's not here yet and I'm planning for the week, we'll probably look at these videos. So we'll probably watch videos on the topic. Um, we'll probably do the reading on day two. And then we'll do um, some of the activities. You don't have to do a lot of the activities, um, but we found that they're pretty fun and we kind of really enjoy doing those. So I'll have to flip over to the other pages that have the description so I can figure out what's going to be the best for us. So here we are with the um, activities. Um, we could do the outdoor stuff with mud um, and try and make a fossil. We could um, make a book, looks like, match the animal to the period. Oh, there we go. So we could do a matching activity. And there's the activity, there's the pages materials for the activity. We can look it up to see when they are. Or we could visit a museum. Um, that is actually gonna be rather challenging right now since they're all still closed. Um, or we could do animal history trading cards. Um, or they could do a brochure or make a poster, something along those lines. So probably we'll be looking at the crafts um, and projects um, and probably this uh, matching pictures activity. So I'm gonna put the craft project for Wednesday and I am going to put the matching activity for the last day of our week. And science is planned. Uh, so next, so science is planned. As you can see, I'm filling things out. I've gotta do art and culture. So I'm going to pull up the art information and see what we have this week. So for this week, we're still looking at cubes and rectangular prisms. Um, we're gonna look at a piece of work. There's a website that we'll check out and then we'll make um, our own 
cubes and rectangular prisms. So that seems like something that we can do in one day. So I'm probably going to do it on a day that we don't have as much with regards to the uh, language arts literature project and the science craft project. So I'm going to stick um, this on Monday. So cubes and rectangular prisms. And then I'm going to add that sculpture for Friday that we had mentioned before that I needed to find a place for. So we'll do that. So we really only have art planned for two days, but that gives me a little flexibility. If there's another opportunity that comes up, we can add that in. And we're going to look at our culture, and sometimes those end up with a little bit of art in it too. So now I'm going to pull out my cultural awareness materials and see what we want to put together. All right, so for cultural awareness, we have a couple of things that we're pulling from right now. I do have um, a couple of books that are on order, but we have also uh, subscribe to the Sankofa Club by Urban Intellectuals, and that is on Black history. And each month they send you, um, it's a digital download, and you can download a bunch of worksheets that uh, introduce a historic figure or figures or event. Um, and then there's like some handwriting practice pages and some mazes and dot to dots. Uh, word searches, vocabulary, those type of things around the story of that significant person or event. So we've been doing those. So I'll have us keep working through. Um, right now I have two months printed out and I have little dividers between each topic. So we try and um, do one topic a week if we work on it, just so that it's all sort of contained at the same time. Um, but we will pick up where we left off and work through that. The other thing that we have been, uh, that we've subscribed to is the Atlas crate from the Kiwi Co. We were getting their Kiwi crates, which was a building type project. Um, switch that over to the Atlas crates. So each month we should be getting a, um, a box with some information about a different culture or location. We just did the first one and you get to create a little book and it's got information about each of the continents. So we did that. It also comes with a little project. So this is the globe that we got to make and then we now have a map up on our wall and that's got some activities. Um, the map had a little booklet to go with it and wants you to find things and we haven't done all of those so we'll probably do a few more of these activities, find certain things on the map, learning to read a map, and we'll do some more of the worksheets from the Sankofa Club by Urban Intellectuals. And that should get us through this week. So I'm just going to pick maybe alternating days so we can mix it up. Some of the things we plan to do for culture in the future, um, I have a book that's on order that goes with that optional geography culture lesson within Blossom and Root. So we'll go back and do some of those that we've missed. And then we're also going to incorporate like trying different foods and baking different meals that are characteristic of different locations. And then we're also thinking that when certain holidays come around, we'll do a little timely study of those holidays from different perspectives. So I'm just gonna write down Atlas Crate, Sankofa Club, and we'll alternate those uh, across our four days. So after going through the curriculum, the only gaps that I had in lesson planning were with art. And so I just took a peek in the cabinet with, you know, 
games and stuff to see if I had anything that would might be a fun activity that we could do for art. So I saw that we still have some spirographs, which are those little wheel things that you go around and use pens. So we're going to try that. And then it's starting to uh, switch to fall here and we're already starting to have leaves turn colors. So I thought we could do a little nature walk and collect some leaves and press those leaves. So that'll be our art project and it'll really kind of tie in with science as well. So that is how we do our lesson planning. Uh, it doesn't take too long. I'd say probably 30 minutes maximum for me to sit down, look through all of the materials, write it out, and then print. So I'll print a couple of the things, the student pages, and we'll put those in a notebook. Um, but I leave the parent guides on the computer so that I can just reference them and we can save some paper. So here we have final product. We've got our lesson plan for four days a week, four hours a day covering Spanish, cultural awareness, art, math, language arts, and science. So thanks for watching. Let me know how you do your lesson planning and let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see from me. Thanks.